hello and welcome to another video uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the navigation uh, feature that is built in into Visual Studio um, a lot of people are used to using CSS to build a uh, navigation in web pages in Dreamweaver I actually got a request to make this video so here we go I'm going to make it short and um, uh, if you want to watch a a very clear edition of this um, video you can go to my website because um, YouTube compression makes the video to be very very blurry so there we go I've taken the liberty to create uh, this project in advance even though I don't have any script for this video you know just to make uh, it faster I uh, created a master page which is simple I'll show you it's just a simple master page uh, if you don't know how to use master page you can watch my previous video so this is uh, the master page I put a table which is 3 by 3 this is the header area the footer this is the footer and um, this is the content place order and I've created uh, a default page which is the home page and you know I've inherited the master page that I created so um, let's add couple of uh, pages so let's have three or four pages in this web so let's add another page uh, web form I'm going to call this page 2 page 2 the ASPX select master page okay and that's okay as well so let's this is page 2 of the website okay now let's add two more pages so we can create our navigation uh, page 3 page 3 does ASPX uh, if I oh sorry uh, yeah windows errors I love windows page 3 dot ASPX and uh, one more page page 4 page 4 the ASPX and uh, that's it so let me okay page 3 let me show you okay this is page 3 of the website and page 4 the design view this is page 4 of the website right so as it as it stands now I'll show you um, there is no navigation so there's no way we can go from one page to the next so uh, this is how it stands at the moment so now I'll show you how to add the navigation it is very easy just watch what I am doing All right had new item today the new item will will be the uh, I always look for it. It's crazy. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Web crystal global sitemap. Oh look at me. I'm looking for don't change the default name, leave it as web dot sitemap because that's the um the name that is um, automatically being looked for so when this page opens all you have to do is just do not forget the squiggle add this squiggle right front slash and it's going to be the name of your page so default default dot aspx that's the name of the page right and the title of the page is on page that is what you want to show on your link on page and the description is this is the on page and uh, let me copy this so I can do paste it for the rest of the four uh, copy right so and the second one will be uh, squiggle for slash page two the ASPX don't forget the ASPX so I always make that mistake uh, this is second page 
uh, sorry, oh, crazy. Right, so the description will be this is the second page. Right, so let's do that for page three and page four. The URL will be this squiggle for slash page three dot ASPX. Title is third page third page and description this is the third page oh and number four will be squiggle four slash page four dot asp x and that will be fourth page description is this is the fourth page okay so now that we have the site web dot site map so um, what we do now is you go to your master page put the cursor where you want to put the navigation uh, actually let me set this to you know uh, style uh, that will be the box isn't it no that will be the block and align text align I want it to align at the top uh, vertical align sorry at the top okay right so go to navigation and just drag the menu over there uh, yeah it's taking some time you know we have to wait it's Microsoft <laughs> right so um, what you want to do is you want to choose the data source yeah so this is new data source sitemap remember what we name it is a sitemap that we created so just click ok don't worry too much about it that one is done so what you want to do now is go to uh, your menu make sure this m the menu item is selected then go to it it's going to ask you static display level you want to put value 2 in there so can you see that's the magic ha 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 now let's run the website and see what we've done let's hope we will not get any error and I don't think there's any error so uh, okay now we have the navigation right that's the navigation on page second page third page fourth page can you see that yeah it's very easy so if you if for example you had another page let's add another page and show you if you had another page and call it uh, uh, web form and that's page 5 if you have another page page 5 dot ASPX all you need to do is open your web dot sitemap file and you know just add it fifth page in there you know put a squiggle slash page page five dot aspx description fifth page and put a description fifth page and um, let's run the website you see that the you see that the fifth page is there already we've added it so but I don't want this uh, thing to go longer but there is a way to actually make it horizontal as well if you want to make your website horizontal if you go to master page click on the menu then um, you look for the orientation and just select horizontal can you see that so this means you can actually place this in the other area instead of on this left hand side so that's it to it really so let's try that and see how it looks actually it looks good you know <laughs> right uh, let's see let's see yes we are ready okay that's it from me now I have to stop it because if it's longer than 10 minutes YouTube might not allow me to upload it so thank you very much come back here I'll upload more videos